Hello and welcome back to FPS Creator Classics, where we take a look at interesting and original games developed in FPS Creator. Now one of my main resources for finding old games for this series has been the old TGC newsletters that used to be released every month, and this edition, number 56, released in September 2007, has a little write-up on the NVIDIA competition, which I've mentioned a few times before. And some of the games that we've played in this series are listed. These were entries into the competition that were then released afterwards for the community to play. So we've got Beyond Life. I mean, that was the game that kicked off this series. But we've also got uh, Meat there. We've played that one as well from Butterfingers. And also Spiders there from Benjamin A. And some of these entries have got ticks next to them to say that they are either worth playing or recommended or even highly recommended. I'm not quite sure why Beyond Life only has one tick, because it won the competition, so surely everyone should play that, but uh, anyway, we'll leave that aside. So uh, yeah, I was scanning through this list to see if there was any games here that were worth checking out, and I came to the bottom and found this, XCOP22. Couldn't find a thread on the forum about it, so I didn't know what it was about, so I downloaded it, and that's what we're going to try today. Um, there's not a huge amount of information about it, other than what is supplied in a readme file uh, that comes with the game. Um, but it does have a little bit of backstory, which I'll just read to you now. Scenario takes place in year 2022. Due to a dramatical increase in criminality, governments have asked a company to build super policemen called cyborgs. You are XCOP 22, a cyborg created by Tektro Company. You are just coming from the factory, and you must pass the test necessary to control that you are in working order. So I think, yeah. Grammar issues aside, I think you probably get what we're going to do here. Um, one thing I will warn you, though, is that the, the load time on this is ridiculous. Um, it actually warns you in the loading screen that it will take 20 minutes, and maybe it did back in 2007. But uh, for us on modern systems, you're looking at more like five to seven minutes. So there's definitely some kind of yeah time to go off and get a drink or whatever. Um, but uh, at least there's some good music, as you're about to hear. So uh, let's load up the game and, and have a listen. I mean, you can't see this, but I'm bopping right now. Almost reminds me of uh, one of those demo tracks you get on like a keyboard. I'm half expecting there to be a button somewhere that's like the DJ button. DJ! Anyway, so uh, let's start a new game, and remember the load time is ridiculous, so I'm going to skip through this and just get to when the game actually starts. It will be longer for you, sadly. But at least you've got the music to keep me company. Eventually. All right, we're in. Press F to continue. Oh my God, that's so loud. Wow. Hello, XCOP22. You are here in the test center of Tektro Company. You have to pass the test necessary before your startup. Where did they find the music?
Oh my god. I'm a bad shot today. Sometimes a powerful weapon can destroy a wall. Like this wall? No. Oh, I was going to say, it didn't look dynamic. You can use objects to have access to upper passages. Wait a minute. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Oh wow, okay. Activate switch twice. No return after this point, okay. You are now ready to you are now ready to start. You will have three levels to pass of increasing difficulty. Alright. Let's do this. The music is well, incredibly dramatic. What horror awaits me? Oh my goodness, it's a box. It's a moving stone box. I guess it can crush me. Ah! Wow, if it gets close it really does hurt. Any uh, extra ammo or secrets or anything to discover? Doesn't look like it. Oh god. I need to get out of here. New objective. Find a way to have access to the upper door. Well, I mean, there's a switch just there. Activate switch. To whoa, 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 whoa. Was not... Uh, not expecting that. I think these are supposed to be glass elements, but the uh, transparency on them hasn't really worked, and we've kind of just got these floating sort of symbols. Oh, I think... Did we spawn in a box? Maybe we did. I'm just going to activate these multiple times to get lots of boxes. Ah, okay, so we've spawned in a floor, I guess. I, I don't know if I have to do this in a certain order to get uh, things to spawn. So I'm assuming I just need to stack boxes, basically. Oh, the music has stopped. Which is slightly a shame. But at least I can now hear myself think. Just. Actually, I probably want that up here, don't I? Ah, let go! Stop. That looks very precarious. I don't imagine that's going to stay there. You'd have thought after all the FBSC games I've played, I'd be pretty good at the stacking puzzles by now, but uh, I don't think I am. Ow. Oh. 
damn. Hey, wait, where did the box go? Did I just... No, it's just there. Okay. Wow, it doesn't really want to let go of this box. I do not know why. Okay, good. Right. I can't get through the door. <clears throat> there is at least some ammo for me here. Okay, so how do I open the door then? I mean, it was telling me I could uh, use objects to break doors, so maybe I can. Oh. No. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Damn. How do I get through this door? It can't be that difficult. Oh, hang on. There's a switch up here. <clears throat> Duh. What? Why didn't you let me jump? I'm not entirely sure what part of uh, law enforcement needs to be... Uh... Okay. Ah, well, of course, there's another switch over there. Aha, uh -huh, right, we now have some floors. <clears throat> you know, I pressed the space bar. You can probably hear it on my mic. But does FPSC care? Of course not. This is annoying. Of course that's not going to work either. So yeah, so like I was saying, I'm not entirely sure what uh, aspect of law enforcement requires the rapid stacking of boxes. Okay, good. Right, we're through. Checkpoint. Oh, and the music started again. Oh my god. Where from? I didn't even see where that was from. You were behind me. That is deeply unfair. No, okay, they're not explosive. Don't know 
why there's this random box here, but that's fine. Nice. I needed that. It's going to take more than a Colonel X to stop me. The X Cop. Achieve. Sorry. Activate. Acid. Acid. Vate. Four switches in alphabetical order to open this door. Okay. I will need some switches with letters next to them to do that. D. So it's not that one. A. Oh, okay. Texture disappeared, but that's fine. Oh no, I'm reloading! Music stopped. Got some health. Where is switch B? Ah! I really don't like the way they spawn in behind me. I hate when enemies spawn in behind me. I mean, it's okay to do it once or twice for a jump scare, but it's just a bit of a cheap trick. Emergency switch in case. Only case my function. Okay. Well, I, I, mean, I think I know my alphabet, so I should be fine, but now we're just looking for switch D, which we passed already. D. Okay, so that should have opened the door. Uh -oh. What was that? I missed that. Something about getting up to the upper deck, probably. Is it another stacking challenge, but this time with barrels? No. At least I don't think so. Unless... Wait, there's the switch. So I need to get up there. There was actually a box earlier on, wasn't there? I think. <clears throat> Maybe I'm wrong. I thought I remember there being a box around here somewhere. But I think it'll take more than one for me to... Sometimes there are several ways to reach the same point. Hang on a second, what does that mean? Does that mean I can... Wait, if I go down here, is that me dead? I just worry that I won't be able to get back up here. <clears throat> can I... Oh, so this is before save and load was added. Can I... Oh, there is something down there. Okay, well I actually did come down here, didn't I? But I can't move... Wait, I can move these. Ah, right. So maybe I've got to run these back up to that room. If I can... Oh, you're kidding. The box is too big. Well, what am I... Can I... Can I push it up there? 
can I can I pull it up there? Yes, there we go. Now where am I going? Wait, what's wait, this is the room that I got stuck in for ages. I don't want to go that way. Now I'm lost. So I have to go down. And I now can't. It's now blocking my path. I came through here. I mean, I've got some smaller boxes here that I can stack. Can I take these with me? Ah, close to the edge, slipping off. Can't take those with me. Okay, I need to find another way to get up. I thought I... Yeah, I did. I took a lift. That's how I got up here, isn't it? Or is it? Oh, I see. Yes, it. there was a lift. Right, okay. So that, that's why I bypassed those the first time. Okay. Anyway, so... We really should be getting on now. So. These barrels don't explode, I'm guessing. I don't know if I can get through this door. Seems unlikely. Oh, wow, okay, I just pulled down a box from nowhere. Uh, cool. Where do I want that? Can I do that for all of these? Can I do it for you? I don't think they're dynamic. I don't think I can pick them up. These don't move. No. Nope. I mean, presumably I'm now on the same level as... Uh... Well, supposedly I'm triggering stuff, but uh, I'm not sure if I actually am. So I've barely commented at all on the actual design of the levels. It's basic, but it does have some custom media in it. And the lighting doesn't look great, but that was kind of... About as good as you could get out of FPSC at the time. I mean, you can tell just from the long loading time that, uh, yeah, this is not a, a particularly well optimized version of FPSC. Might even be version 1. Okay, well, this isn't going to help us because we're just back where we started. So. I can basically grab boxes off this ledge. Can I grab enough of them? I think I probably can, actually. So I don't know if I actually have to jump to all these different platforms. I should only need... Actually, I would say three, but I might need more.
Okay, doors open. So, I mean, in theory, I could try and jump this, but I just know that FPSC won't let me make a jump that far. Oh, it did. It actually is doing it. Yes! Nice! Congratulations, you passed successfully the tests of the level one. Uh, good. That actually feels like a pretty big level considering it was made for the uh, NVIDIA competition where the levels had to be, I think, 15 by 15 by 10 or something. So they, so they weren't using the full... Uh, they weren't using the full scope of what FPSC could allow. Oh, music started again. Drama. Oh, this is interesting. Find a way out of there. Okay. There is some script attached to this that doesn't, uh... Yeah, so the feedback loop on that, to open this door, activation of the switch requires starting of the generators. Okay, so maybe I need to start the generators first. But I was about to say the script on that switch wasn't working properly. Wow, listen to the ambience in this little bit here. Okay, so how does one start the generators? I probably need to get up there somewhere, don't I? I wonder if these explode. Oh, they break. That's good enough for me. And, as I always say, it wouldn't be an FPSC game without a little bit of vent crawling. And here we are, crawling in the vents. So this presumably is some sort of control room. Okay, so generator power is on. Okay, he's doing that weird FPSC thing where the enemy is dead, but doesn't kind of recognise he's dead. So in theory, generators are now on. I should be able to open this. Hey, look at that. Ah, okay, so this is why we had the sewer sound effect. There's some neat little puzzles in this game. I was uh, all ready to start criticising, but fair play. There's some uh, decent little environments in here. Very basic, very much... Uh, a lot of FPSC is a little bit like black box theatre. You have to kind of imagine it. Your own imagination fills in the gaps. Okay, we've picked up a key for somewhere. Where does this go? These levels are... Um... Oh, I found a secret area. 
Hey, and it gives me a P90? Oh yeah, look at that. I love this gun. Oh no, cross to the other side. Okay, so we've got some jumping puzzles to do. We know I suck at these. And I've got to get to that switch over there. Oh, that's that's close, man. That's I'm not going to be able to do that. That's such a long way to go. <clears throat> yep, see, I told you. Okay, well, we have got a box here, so I don't necessarily have to do the jumping puzzle bit. That's a good addition, because I hate FPSC jumping puzzles. Ah! Probably shouldn't have thrown that switch. Oh my god, that was not part of the plan. I managed to pick up the uh, the box I was actually s like standing on. Okay, I think we've opened that door, so I just need to get over there now. <clears throat> I thought maybe I might be able to do it in one box, but I don't think I can. No, not quite. Oh well. Is this screenshot of uh... okay looks like uh, it's definitely an FPSC screenshot it's someone wielding a MP40 and they are shooting at missile looking things I found a secret what does it do It opens up this little area, I think. Medilab. Destroy the three clandestine drug laboratories. Find the auto destruction switches and activate them. Ow. Oh nice, I like the way it spawns the fire in. These levels are quite labyrinthine in their design. You don't really know where you're going. I wonder if there's a hurt zone in here for the fire. Oh there is! Yep. <laughs> of course there would be. Ow. I'm assuming I don't go through there. No return after this point. Congratulations, you successfully passed the tests of level 2. What's down here, I wonder? 
you found a secret showroom dedicated to the game development of Operation X Tempora, one of the largest games ever developed with FPS Creator and created by the author of this map. Please take a little time to have a look at the screenshots. I don't know about Operation X Tempora. I think I have come across it in my uh, in my studies, but uh, I was not able to find a playable demo of it. it. Looks to be a sort of a World War II thing. Certainly does look like a, a big game, using a lot of stock media. Interesting. I shall have to do some more research into that one, see if anything ever hit the forums. Still, it's cool that it has a secret area. So, level three. What awaits us? Oh my goodness, okay. It's your job against the crime. Uh... It's to fight. Look, it, it's actually spelled out for me in the way that some of these are coloured differently. I have to... I have to fight crime. Cool. That's clever, that was sort of like uh, Indiana Jones. Okay, uh... I'm assuming... Son of a... Yeah, you're not getting out from that one, are you? Oh. Don't hit me. I'm a nurse. You can heal if necessary. Uh, well, I don't need to yet, but I may come back and visit you later, nurse. So the murderous uh, stone blocks are on the rampage again, over there. What is this? I found a secret area. It does a thing. More ammo. Yeah, we haven't used the P90, I don't think. Oh, okay. Get to the top of the room. Oh my god, I'm being chased by the boxes of death. Okay. Uh, and how does one do that? Okay. I have to say, the secret areas are not massively secret. But I have to... I mean, most uh, FPSC games don't even bother with this sort of stuff, so... Um, fair play. It's quite an old idea. Quite a retro idea. Ah, okay. Well, that's... That's one way to get across the room. How do I leave the room, though? Where, where's the... I mean, there's no obvious sort of exit out of here. It's not here. Is it here? Do I have to do I have to get to there? Can I drop down here maybe? That doesn't seem like the top of the room to me. Ah, maybe I have to go here. Right. Find the documents concerning the warning systems. Oh my goodness, they're going to give me a chainsaw? Well this is new, I've never seen this in FPSC before, this particular chainsaw. I mean essentially what this is, is it's just a, uh, just a gun with a very short range. And infinite ammo, I'm assuming. So, that's a locked door. Need to find the key for that somewhere. Well, there's a key. Is 
It's all way too loud, by the way. Ah, here we go, confidential. A new warning system has been installed in the building of the company. Few cameras have been placed in the corridors and some offices. In case of detection of an intruder by a camera, the doors will automatically be closed. Doors can be reopened by resetting switches. Only a security personnel knows the location of these switches. Okay. But how do I progress? I did just do that, didn't I? I just, just... Stop all the warning systems. Yeah, I really could do with stopping the warning systems because it's stupidly loud. I've got music, I've got sirens. None of these doors open. Stop! Okay. Read the mail. <laughs> mail from Duke. The new warning system is fully operational. However, some armoured cameras must be changed because of a defect in the metal. The destruction of these cameras leads to an inopportune opening of certain doors. Okay. So you want me to destroy the cameras then? With pleasure. Well, they're indestructible, so obviously not those ones. a secret area up here no but there's some boxes oh no okay what have we got here we've got some glass that I can step on, I think. Uh, okay. Congratulations, you have passed the whole of the tests. I like your goatee, sir. Um, and that's it.
And there we go. So that was XCOP 22. And uh, yeah, no, not bad. Um, very rough around the edges. Um, and it had a lot of the normal tropes that an FPSC game has. Those sort of jumping puzzles and switches. And um, I mean, it was all the same ingredients we've seen countless times before. But it's all about the combination of those ingredients. And yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't too bad. You can see why it didn't win against uh, something properly creative and original like Beyond Life. But um, at the same time, I, I still think it's a, a fun little game to play. Um, but yeah, uh, level design was uh, okay. Kind of, yeah, I think I described it earlier as um, labyrinthine because you often didn't quite know where you were headed and it was very kind of narrow corridors. I couldn't stand the fact that enemies would only ever spawn in behind me. That's just... That's just really annoying. I know that FPSC's gunplay is not great, but um, it's really annoying to have them get a couple of cheap shots in while I'm still turning around. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not really sure how well it kind of uh, adhered to the, the whole storyline of me being a cyborg. Surely I should have been able to do something with my robotic abilities, but uh, obviously not. But yeah, so um, okay, well... That was that was an interesting play. So uh, if you'd like to try it for yourself, as I said, the great thing about these TGC newsletters is, at least for now, at the time of recording, most of the links to these games still work. So uh, I will put a link in the description to this game. And uh, I'll also put a link in as well for um, the newsletter where I found it so you can try out some of the other games that were also submitted to this uh, NVIDIA competition back in about 2007. So you can see what kind of competition it was up against. Um, but yeah, so that's going to do it for this evening. So thanks for joining me for this uh, for this episode. And I'll see you again on the next FPS Creator Classic. Cheers. Bye.